Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome to Stein World. If you've never played the Stein World before, this is going to be a quick introduction on how to get started, where it's at, basic general ideas to get people interested in actually playing. So um, head over on any browser. This can be on your cell phone. It can be on a Chromebook. It can be anywhere to Stein World and go over to register. Now, I've already logged out technically, so um, you're going to go to register. You're going to uh, uh, Blech. You're going to select a new character. Uh, you have to select male or female. There is no non-binary options. Um, and then you're going to choose hairstyles and body color. Once you got that, pick a username, type in your email, put in a password that you can remember, but it's hard to guess, and then choose which server you want to join. And this actually doesn't matter because you're going to be able to join all three once you're done. Terms and services policies. Now, if you've not read the terms and services policies, you can actually click on terms, blah, 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 blah and come over here and read all these rules. Make sure you actually agree to them. Uh, after that, you're going to log in for the first time, and I am just going to show you where it's at. So we're actually in the first town here. I'm gonna head upstairs. And here's the back line, here's the story. You were out here partying like a boss and whichever one you are, if you land over here, wait, can we go over in this room? Hold on, I don't think we can actually get to this room. I just realized, I don't even know why that guy's over in the room. Like we can't get to the room. I thought it was like females for red and males for blue, but that's not the case. Everybody who starts for the first time, you're going to end up right over here. And you're going to be standing here like this. And the whole backstory line is you were out drinking and partying with a bunch of your buddies. And last night you lost your beer stein. Now, if you know what a beer stein is, it's a big mug. Okay. It doesn't have to be used for beer. It could be ale or anything else like that. But it's an old school term. It means like a, like a big, uh, a big alcohol drink. Now, here's something else. Stein is also German for, I think, what's called stone. So it could be stone world, but the idea is you've lost your family Stein, which is your beer mug. Okay, so before you go, oh no, code, it's not family friendly. It's actually very much so. And here's the reason why. I'll go show you. I'm going to head downstairs. I'm going to head over here to the bar. Okay, we're actually going to talk to... Uh, this bar, barkeeper, come here. Now you can buy a beer, but look what it does to you. It does 20 physical damage. So if you actually drink or consume alcohol in beer form on this particular start, you take damage. I don't even know if that's like more than your, your starting HP, but I don't think they, they like, they encourage drinking. So the fact that it's called Steinworld, I think is a little off. Anyhow. When you first get started, you're going to be inside this room, all right, and you're going to, not going to be able to go downstairs until you're fully dressed. I don't want to trade with anybody. Um, come up here and talk to this cleaning lady, and she's going to task you with a couple of things. She's going to say, hey, you need your shoes and your pants and blah, blah, blah. You're going to find your shoes right over here. You can actually pick them up just like that, and then they're going to be inside your inventory. You're going to drag them onto your feet. Like that. Now I've got special shoes, so I'm not going to do that at the moment. And I'm actually just going to trash these used shoes. And then come over here. You're going to grab some pants. This guy's standing on them, but hey, buddy, Mr. Sir Vader, you're you're standing on the pants. These these aren't worth any value, by the way. So you can just trash these. Um, but you need to keep a pair on in order to get started. And that's, that's basically it, I mean, for the start. You also need the shirt over here. And it's it's scattered around a couple times. But again, I've already got everything. Trash it. Once you have everything done, she should assign you another task and says, hey, you need to go downstairs and talk to somebody else. If that's the case, you're going to come down these stairs. Boink. And then you're going to come over here. Nope, that way. Is it up here? I think he's up here. Yeah, this guy. The cook. He's going to give you some missions. I don't think there's anybody else over here, is there? Mm, I think this lady gives you some missions. Hey, do you give missions? Yeah, welcome to my inn. Oh, thank you. That's the innkeeper, Annabelle. So, let's go over here. Bailey Gregg, he's always at the bar. Anyhow, I don't think we can talk to them. Yeah, we gotta go around the corner. The barkeeper will actually have uh, some missions for you as well. Uh, this little symbol above his head means inventory shop. Like, you can purchase this stuff. Um, you will want some healing potions, but 
Don't worry about healing potions to begin with, because every single mission that you do, it'll give you one, two healing potions per thing. So that's that's basically it. That's how to get started. All right, and I want to tell you this game, it can be played on anywhere, any browser, anything. And there are in-game purchase things where you can purchase like gems or accounts or backpacks, stuff like that. Each one of these is actually in euros, but for what this game actually is, I mean, it's it's massive. It is a huge game. Come in here, come, come here, come here. Just look at this, seriously. Like I'm standing just outside the inn in the main portion of the, the village, right? If we go look at the map, this right here, this is like the main area you're gonna be exploring. This is all low level, first level stuff. And you've got your enchanters, your mining, your weaponsmith, Armorsmith should be in there. Yeah, Armorsmith, Herbalism, Tailor, all these things, just by looking at your map. Uh, the main area you're going to be exploring and killing stuff is right in here. Then once you get a little bit more powerful, it'll be up here. And you got to go after these like hungry bears. Anyhow, each one of these is quest driven. I recommend if you're going to get in here, follow the quest. Okay, we'll do other episodes on how to craft and how to level up and stuff like that. But for now, to get started, head over to the website, create your character, Get yourself logged in and let's go play. Uh, another couple of quick tips. Ask for help. Message somebody in here. And especially if uh, if you're watching this video and that's the video that got you to play the game, put in here just a hashtag code sent me. Like that. Hashtag code sent me. Then that way, whenever you log into the world, I know that my video sent you here. And that'd be awesome. But it's really up to you. Um, I hope you enjoy it because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos over this. Just saying. Lots of videos. Um, I've already been like working on my crafting skills. Huge. So, I mean, this is, this is from like four days of play. I'm already 9, 13, and 11. But these three main basic, uh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Okay. Crafting is amazing on this thing. The, the adventure is huge, and this small starting area, that's just a small portion of the map. It's a huge game, okay? So, plenty of room for everyone. Don't forget, code sent me. Thank you everyone for watching this quick episode on the intro to uh, Stein World. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things you're supposed to call out the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. It's your choice. And um, there are three servers. All right, there's the European, the US, and the Asia server. So you choose which one you want to play in. US is going to be the most uh, busy as of right now. At nighttime, it actually gets pretty pretty equal across the, uh, the Asian and the American server. European server just kind of stays offline for the most part. Like, there's, there's people you can even see here. Like, um, if you want to socialize, go to the US. Uh, if you need to harvest go to um, Europe and if you're if you're looking to solo just go to Asia so and that should keep your your traffic and your lag down but like I said you can do this from mobile you can do this from any browser and I I'm absolutely obsessed with the game I hope you get obsessed with it too love you guys very much have a great night and we'll talk to you very soon <sighs> outro